I'm condemned for beating a partner at ping pong. And this is OKOP, home of the craziest true stories on earth. I'm John, this is Sam and Sophia. Ladies and gentlemen, let's dive into the story. That is this is sponsored by Aura, but more on that later. I am a rising second year student, student associate, yes. thank you, at a larger mid-sized firm. And one of the partners hosted a ping pong tournament at his house for anybody that wanted to join in. Apparently, this firm, this firm has had several tournaments in the past, and a different partner who is very high up and well-respected has been the reigning champ of the firm. Well, here's the thing. I grew up playing ping pong, as I had a table in my house for a very long time. I'm certainly no professional, but I'd like to think that I may be better than the average person who didn't grow up playing like I did. Anyways, I made it to the championship, and I had to face this partner of the company. I wasn't very scared. I ended up giving the, giving him the smackdown. I'm talking a 21 to 7 W. Put a W in the chat. Put W for in okay, the chat. For that for ping OP. pong blast down. Yeah, dude. Just freaking <laughs> slapping those balls. The <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Late night stream. Um, we get kookier and kookier. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're we right. Mi we the, missed you, John. The descent has begun. We shook hands afterward and celebrated with everyone, and I thought everything was cool. Very quick, very quick. Yeah. Would you all beat your, like, high-up boss in ping pong? Fuck you. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. Pretend, pretend, you guys are going down. Pretend, pretend you guys had real jobs. Yes. With yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Wait, wait. wait. How, easy, how yeah. old is my real boss? How old are like, we talking? old bro like 39 like 40 39 <laughs> i personally um, i'm really bad at like i can't lose at things but, but like if i if i'm bad at it then you know obviously i'll be bad at it but um if i was good at ping pong i i couldn't just you know fail sophia yeah. is hella competitive i'm very competitive whenever we play boomerang foo she just like dominates that's true that's not true yeah. i've been christian's been beating me that's true I've been having a comeback though. Well, she's been she she destroys me every time we play. But like, but I play I play fully. Yeah, if she, you, she if goes if she's go, if she's me. in she's all in. You yeah. leave it all in the field. Yeah. yeah, like one time when I babysat as a twelve year a uh, twelve year old, I was a twelve year old, um, and I was I was playing Monopoly with the kids and I. Destroy, and they yeah. cried. These stupid <laughs> no, kids. They were fine, but but I was beating. I am them. so good at Monopoly. It is, but you, it's because you you're sw you're a swindler. Well, that's what Monopoly is. No, it's not. Oh, <laughs> that's what I, can't play, I can't play with you then. Oh. No, I don't know. He's a swindler. <laughs> we should um, play Monopoly well, on also, stream. Also, Baby Godzilla asked what our shirt size was. I'm small, I believe. I'm probably I'm large. I'm a large, probably. Yeah, large. large, medium. Yeah, large. large. Three larges. Three larges. And one small. There we go. Thanks, Baby Godzilla. Thanks, um, baby. <laughs> Thanks, baby. Shout out to you. Thanks, baby. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, really quick before we continue the story. Yes. Do women like being called mommy? No. <laughs> or or well, some do. Mama. I, like, I can't in say what, that. I in what context? That. In what context? Like, what is the? Because I've never when you felt when you compelled like to, know. to 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 <laughs> say to say mommy, and and I wonder if it's a thing. Why why, why do you want to know? Okay, story time. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, is that the time? <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> gotta go. All right, let's let's keep going. Let's to the keep story. going. Yeah, so I, I can't say that I do. Um, little little reminder. <laughs> <laughs> anyone, <laughs> anyone just joining, catching up speed. Op is is a rising star at the company, um, and just beat the big boss in the firm. <laughs> what? What's happening? <laughs> Cassidy says definitely don't call your day on Saturday, mommy. <laughs> I wasn't going. I mean, to. who else? Who else would it be? I wasn't. Yeah. No, I wasn't. I was just. I. I was. What? No, never mind. You were just testing the waters. No, I just wanted to know. Be yeah. honest. I wasn't. I just wanted to know. Like, I know, like, daddy is a thing. Yeah. And I. I don't like that either. Oh but my god. I don't like that either. I want to know if mommy's a thing. It is a thing. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like a one. Who said daddy like authentically, <laughs> in a romantic <laughs> context? <laughs> <laughs> answers oh, in the chat. Protein Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Josie Mendez. No. Protein Mama. Oh, man. All right. Let's get back to the story. So, fast forward to now. 
a week later and this guy hasn't spoken to me since the higher up the big higher up in the company every time we cross paths in the office he looks at me uh and looks the other way he looks at me I and look, look at, at you <laughs> And looked at him and look at me. Some of the other partners have begun to shy away from me as well. It seems pretty obvious to me that I'm being shunned. Did I screw up my return offer? Was this guy really never was this was this guy just never really that good to begin with? And people just let him win to preserve his ego. Mm. Should I have gone easy on him? To be fair, I'm a KJD and this guy is easily approaching 70 years old. Junior detective. Nice. Killer junior detective. <laughs> How do I fix this? I never imagined I'd become the office pariah for being good at something. Wait, wait. So bro's 70 years old and he just smacked him at ping pong? Yeah. Oh. That, he, this old man. Honestly, this I poor think, old man I just wanted to play. His ego. <laughs> bro, to he me, deserves a whack yeah. ass. Honestly, to me, I'd be like, yo, I respect you for like actually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I like you know what? Man. You oh, won against me. Now here's my company. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Willy Wonka. Yeah, Willy Wonka. Yeah. That much. to Not the much. person who would beat me in ping pong, Sweet I would games. sign away everything. My I own. entire life. Yeah, it's like Willy Wonka mixed with Ready Player One. Oh, KJD is a typo for kid. Perhaps. Oh, huh? that I could. Be. I was a maybe. kid. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But we have some relevant comments. Let's get it. Um, and Cognito. Says, uh, <laughs> that's how they spelled and it. I Either your partner is the Michael Scott of law, if so, run. Uh, two, you may not have been the most graceful winner and rubbed it in, and maybe others saw it the wrong way. I don't know. Check yourself. Or number three, uh, may just maybe you're a bit paranoid, like we are all prone to be, and everything is actually okay. Awesome City Zero says, this is it. We need to know how OP was. If OP wasn't like, ha, in your face, I can't believe you ever won. People must have been letting you win. <laughs> then, yeah, it's probably you just being paranoid. <laughs> um, as an anecdote, um, when I was back as a student, when I was a so student associate, I didn't know if this was a thing, maybe in law. I don't know. Yeah, um, it is. A partner, okay, a partner hosted a gathering at their house. Their son, who was maybe like 10, was walking around challenging people to chess. This one guy went and played chess with the kid and just unceremoniously beat the kid and then was like, I was president of my chess club in college. The rest of us were kind of floored, but it was hilarious. <laughs> anyways, anyways, he did get an offer despite uh, even some of the showboating and the partner was not upset in the slightest. I guess the partner was the father of this idiot child. <laughs> <laughs> this dumbass. Stupid child. Baby. It would be fun to do like one of those like radio station like 101 and 6 for the chillest. Bro, that's basically what we have. That's true. We, that's we, true. We, this is what we have right this here. This is OKOP, home to the craziest true stories on, on the air. air. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But you know what else is crazy? What's crazy, John? This stupid kid. We have <laughs> an update. Let's Damn, Sophia. <laughs> Freaking hit it. Didn't let that one slide. All right. So yeah. if you haven't read the posts um, from my student associate last summer, so now we're a year later, a year in the future. A year later. Please read the old post because I'm trying to figure out how to move forward with this firm situation. TLDR. Uh, I destroyed a partner in ping pong during my student associates uh, last summer, and the whole office seemed to dislike me afterwards as if I did something wrong. I actually ended up getting an offer to return last summer, which is good news. Huge. Mm -hmm. So I returned to the firm this summer um, and had a great time overall, except for that one ping pong partner being there. The office decided to have an annual ping pong tournament at Again? the end of the summer this year. Again? Again. Rematch. OP's going to kick some ass. Rematch. Uh, no, this the old guy's been training all year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like Yo, Mr. Miyagi. Yeah. Maybe that's the whole thing is like he just just training. He's like, guys, we are going to be doing this. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's been mewing. Have you seen the... This? Mm -hmm. yeah, of no. course they've been. No, and he's like... Doo, 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 doo. He, yeah, you know, like when someone gets broken up with and they're like, they come back and they're super ripped and their jawline is oh cut. They're chatting. Yeah. Chatting all over the place. Thank all you, Devin. Not a said enough That's for the five right. dollars. Yeah, for Big Daddy Protein that you see him. You see our boy. 
We were just talking about how um, it's unfair that Riley's camera. Riley's camera looks so good. Really? Bro, he looks Rizzo, so really? look how Riley, sexy Rizzo, he looks. Rizzo, come on. Oh my it's god. It's because it's that. so close to his face. And it's the lighting. It's like the we lighting. have all this harsh lighting on us. Yeah. That's yeah. what you want. That's what you wanted. Like I I have this cam this ring light and that light back there and I did what with what I had. Yeah. This is what happens when you're limited <laughs> with materials. You look gorgeous. Look good. You look good. Delicious. Delectable. Uh, stop it. <laughs> all right. Let's Back hit this story. story. So I had to deal with that partner's insufferable energy the entire time leading up to it. So the freaking old man is giving him a hard time. Mm. Last summer after I beat him beat. in ping pong, um, he would just look at me and walk the other way. But now he just scowls at me. Oh my God. Whenever I see him, he will literally follow me with his eyes until the second I turn a corner Yikes. without saying a word to me. One time I experimented and took a peek back around the corner and his eyes were still locked onto mine. That's kind of weird. Um, some of the other partners. <laughs> he licked his lips and blew me a kiss. <laughs> mm. Also, Joy Bird, 1991. Thanks for blowing us a kiss with that $10. Oh, Don't gosh. know how long I've been watching you, but this is my first live stream. Woo! Welcome. You go, guys <laughs> gals. Some of the other partners were telling me that he has spent the entire past school year uh, harrying everyone, I guess, harassing everyone in the office about how much he's been training, to Sophia's point, and he has been <laughs> challenging the attorneys to ping pong matches one by one. That's so funny. So that way he continually assess his improvement. Dude, oh my God. This is the office, that one episode of The Office. It's like Dwight and whoever he plays against. Oh yeah, the ping yeah yeah the ping pong oh, he I plays against Jim yeah yeah I totally yeah I remember that it's Damn. totally that great callback great callback what if this is that's not that's not the office episode it's not the episode because they're not seventy yeah well the big day finally came <laughs> this time the partner hosted the tournament the tournament at his own house <gasps> wow uh, home, home turf advantage yeah, exactly. Yeah. What a cheater. I'm guessing he wanted even more people to watch him lose again because this time it seemed like the entire office showed up for the tournament. Support staff, spouses, children. <laughs> there were <laughs> women and children. <laughs> so the, the women and children. And the children. <laughs> there were so many people that everyone couldn't even fit into his basement. I'm just imagining like a fight club type scenario. Yeah, right dude. Down right now. Yeah. It's this oh raucous. God. Everyone's drinking, yelling. <laughs> yeah, they're placing, placing bets. bets. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, they, they they tied their ties to their forehead sideways. Yeah, I don't know why people Does that do that. Does that happen in Fight Club? I mean, I think it so. Just happens when boys get rowdy. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. happens when the you boys just take a tie boys. and you just want to just like mm, just like yeah, nod dude. it to the side of your dome. Interesting. <laughs> boys will be boys. <laughs> boys will be boys. <laughs> what I what can I say? Um, so we had to set up a camera and live stream that matches to his living room uh, uh, TV upstairs. So he's live streaming it to Twitch, the different rooms in the house. So he's like trying to get like photo evidence of what he believes yeah. is going to be the smackdown of a century. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Oh the seventy year old exactly. doesn't know what's coming. Though. He's no about idea. to get destroyed. Also, thanks for everyone knowing the the the, the stream. We got, we're almost at five hundred. Hey, let's go, baby. 500 people. Let's go. Keep keep coming in. Keep coming in. in. And if you're Welcome. new here, freaking like this stream. Like it. Like it. Like it. It makes more people come in. Yeah. We've Thank never broken 600 people, so. So let's do it tonight. Let's do, let's do it. it tonight. Let's do it bit. tonight. Thank you. Ooh. While others were watching others play, he whispered in my ear. Oh, God. And he told me that I would have to get through him before <laughs> receiving a post-grad offer. Stop whispering like that. Oh, my that. God. Yeah, that's right. Dude. He said you're going to have to get, get through me. me. Yeah. Big granddaddy. But we're going to have to do it in the, <laughs> the, the live side stream. office. Yeah, that's on the right. live stream. That's right. Wow. Of course, him and I ended up being the remaining two players. It all came down to them. It all came down to us. To face each other for the championship. Seems like everyone purposefully lost just to see us play. Okay, so are they even the best of the best? I mean, I think they are the best. But it seems like they've purposely lost. Well, we don't know that. That's just what OP's saying. I don't but is he right, though? We'll see. Like I said before, I grew up playing ping pong, so I'm generally not worried about my chances of beating someone. Okay. I'm not worried. Everyone sucks, shabby. except for me. 
But I'll admit that his uh, m- malicious, m- maniacal looks malicious. Malicious. It's it's menish, menicious. Menicious is literally the word menacious. I'll say maniacal, malicious. But I'll admit his maniacal and malicious looks did start to get in my head this time a bit around. Nonetheless, I did win the championship oh! again. Woo! Woo! Although this time it was twenty-one to eighteen, and not okay, so he was close. He was so his training paid he off. Approved. This old dog learned a few tricks. <laughs> And I did receive the return offer. <gasps> Huge. Wow. Uh, as as the partner had whispered in his ear. Yeah. You're going to have to beat me, You're going to have to work for this you have return to beat offer. me, son, mercilessly. <laughs> <laughs> Take out the whip, son. <laughs> it's time. Uh, but he put up a genuine fight that had me on the edge throughout the entire game. He was uh, edging him? <laughs> <laughs> Hey yo! <laughs> Sophia is on the live stream. Sophia came to play. She came to play, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, only because I knew Sam was about to say it. What? What's with <laughs> sure. Gen Z and edging? They always yeah, talking about edging the new on TikTok. Thing, right? Yeah, because yeah. it's funny. Yeah, millennial, you, you old ass. Head I know. Ass. John and I what? are the same Ever age now. Whatever, millennial loser. Suck it. What? Are you not edging right now? Huh? <laughs> Why? <What? laughs> Let's huh? keep going. <laughs> Riley, why are you oh, asking man. my sister that? Huh? I asked you that. <laughs> why are you asking my brother that? <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Get back, back to, to the, the story. story please. <laughs> it's actually scary how much he improved in just one year. Again, this guy is around 70 years old. <laughs> Gotta admire the dedication at that age. After the game, he shook my hand with a stern look and said that he's not retiring until he reclaims his title. And Sky Hollow, thanks for the 10 bucks, Woo! Sophia. You're so pretty. <laughs> Thank you. Um, honestly, I have too much pride to ever let this man beat me at ping pong. <laughs> so here's the dilemma. So does he have to keep training? Maybe. Hmm. I haven't accepted the offer yet. I haven't accepted the job offer yet. Because I'm a good person. I'm wondering whether I should just reject the offer and move on. Oh, my God. Why? I would never be able to live with myself if this guy dies as an employee of this firm because he can't beat me. Oh, my God. But to be honest, he almost certainly pass away at this firm if I accept this offer. It's just just a fact, y'all. It's just a fact. I do plan on aiming for partner at this firm. Okay? All right. Don't people deserve to retire and have a little time before passing away? Wait, <laughs> can you summarize that for yeah, me? Yeah, like so. Op is so good, right? The partner's like, "Listen, uh, I won't retire until I beat you at ping pong." And then Op's like, "Well, you're gonna die. I before can't you beat do me. the disservice. I I will force you to die here because <laughs> oh. because you'll never beat me. So you'll just keep trying. You'll be ninety years old, just like <gasps> just trying, just having a heart attack on having, the ping having pong a game. Heart attack. And this guy has so much confidence, like. Yeah. You know, it's never going to happen for you. So I shouldn't accept this offer. Kimberly Fine says, determined old men are my favorite. If she doesn't accept, that will be his new slash more easily attainable goal. I kind of like, I kind of like his spunk. I like their, their rivalry. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like maybe this will like. It keeps him young. Keeps him young. Yeah. Yeah. This, uh, oh no, it's Lizzie Joe says this old man is about to sell his soul to the devil so he can beat the young buck at ping pong. He's like, I yeah, must like the fiddle beat play. Him. Yeah. Also, we're at 599 people in the stream. Woo! Like this thing <laughs> so we can get more people in here. Um, break the record. But yeah, I, I yeah, and Satia says lawyers are so competitive with each other. I, yeah, Clearly. I mean, it's a lawyer thing, I probably. It. It's I a lawyer see. thing. Yeah, I've sense. seen suits. Yeah, suits is great. But you know what? I have also seen what that's greater. Wait, was that the end of the story? It's over. The end. Oh my god! Saga's I'm gonna read this next story. Whee! 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 
We're going to get back into the episode, but John, I just have to thank you again for helping me out. You like helped cover up my steamy relationship history that's out there on the internet and even steamier pictures. Laura had his hand. We, we got you locked in. I realized that you are more exposed than my grandma was on a nude beach in the 60s. Oh, what are you talking about? Do you know about the clip that is going around the internet of you being chewed out on national television in your past life as a uh, troubled reality TV star? Oh, sh is this what I think it is? Uh, play the clip. So I don't know if entrepreneurship is the right thing for you. And John, I only play that clip because I don't want it going anywhere else except for the OK fam. Uh, okay, apparently, we're, we're already putting me on blast. You need to be protected. <laughs> right. And there's only one way to protect yourself. Is it what I think it is, Sam? Aura. Let's sign up for it, baby. So there are these evil data brokers constantly hunting your private information, scraping your data, and selling it online. That's true, but Sam, Aura is protecting us. They're protecting our phone numbers, our email addresses, and a lot more. And I just signed up. I'm secured. I'm good to go. So these sketchy data brokers that we've been talking about, right. they legally have to remove your data if you ask. So we should be good, right? But the hoops you have to jump, it makes it almost impossible for individuals like our dumb butts to actually do the things that you need to do to your data out there. All right, well, check this out. So I'm looking here right now. Aura has been doing that as we speak, as we're playing this ad. They'll contact all the evil data brokers and get the data back. It's incredible. Really? Really. So get protected like your boys and sign up for Aura. You can either let people continue to exploit and profit from your private data, or you can go to Aura.com slash OKOP. So to start your two-week trial, that is free. Again, go to Aura.com slash OKOP. It's also linked down in the description below. But now let's get back into the episode. Am I the ale for getting my ex-friend fired? From her job, and this wow. comes from Snickericky. Oh, fun fact. Is this from yeah, you know. r slash OKLP show? Snickericky, if you are in Sound the chat, uh, let us know. This is this is from our subreddit, r slash OKLP show. So this is from the OK fam. This is right. our little silly. It's our peoples. All right, let's hit it. So a few years ago now, I had her for this friend who I met through my roommate. Let's call her Amanda. And she was my roommate's friend's girlfriend. Okay, so like a little bit away, but roommate's friend's girlfriend. Okay. Let's call her boyfriend, Calvin. Okay. So the roommate is Calvin? Uh, she was my... No, sorry. Roommate's, roommate's friend is Calvin. Okay, so we have roommate, Amanda, yep. right? Roommate's friend's... Calvin. Girlfriend. Let's call her boyfriend, Calvin. So that's the roommate's friend. That's Amanda's roommate's friend friends. is Calvin. Yes. We became friends over the course of two years by going to visit them in another city at their house. They never came to ours. Long story short, I had plans to open my own online business and confided that in her. I even confided the confidential business ideas and recipes. Whoa, confidential? Confidential. Business Dang. ideas and recipes? On a few occasions, only nights I would confide in her. She claimed she was tired and had to go to bed for work the next day and would go upstairs while Calvin and us hung out and chatted. Little did I know she was going upstairs and not going to bed. Oh my God, she was But to go write down everything I was telling her. Stop. The company secrets. <laughs> Insider training. <laughs> the unlaunched company crazy. Oh my God. Her day job was working at a legal cannabis store. And the next thing that happened was a shock to me because she never mentioned anything. And I'm naive and supportive of my friends. I didn't see exactly what she was doing. She had never mentioned to me that she wanted to open her own business. Put I see you in the comments if you know what's going to happen. Type it. What do you think is going to happen? And yet one day, months after I told her all my business ideas and recipes, she said she had opened her own business, selling the exact same thing I confided in her that I was going to sell. Drama. I initially thought nothing of it. Why would you think nothing of yeah. it, OP? I would okay. think something You're like, of it. oh, that's weird. We both had the same idea that I told you about. Yeah. Also, Cosmic Tacos, thanks for the 10 bucks. Excited Woo! to catch my Ten first live stream. Bucks. Thanks for keeping me entertained. Let's go. That's what we want to do. Um, yes, but yeah, I would I would be I would be like, yo, what are you doing? True. Stealing all my recipes. Sam's like, I'm gonna launch this show where I read like crazy Reddit stories yeah, called yeah. OKOP. I'm like, that's so funny because 
I'm, I'm gonna watch a show tomorrow. called P O K O. Yeah, and uh, it's gonna and be it's great. gonna be where people submit stories to my P O box. <laughs> yeah, exactly, dude. <laughs> Way better than this freaking this rinky dink <laughs> thing over here with your whatever you're working on. Yeah, it's pretty whack. It's pretty whack. Yeah, and was supportive of her and her new business as that's what friends do. I wasn't even suspicious. She claimed that she was also offering educational cannabis information as well, which was all information she learned from her current job at the legal cannabis store. I even supported her business by buying $50 worth of her products. It wasn't until after I purchased these products and supported her business that she decided to come out with more products I had told her I was in the works of putting on my own website. Yes. When my roommate started to notice a trend, but it wasn't until the next item she decided to market um, that she made her business identical to my oh, business plan. My so basically, like the first couple of things were like, oh, that's pretty similar, but now it's like identical. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So there is more to the story, but right here, right now, mm -hmm. what do we say to the friend? Do we say anything? You say, how dare you? How dare you steal my secrets how and recipes? How dare you steal that recipe? Looking at it realistically, I'm thinking out loud here. I'm thinking out loud. Yeah. Do you go and be like, maybe we just partner together? I honestly, I was that. I was thinking that. Well, she's but the executor. She's the executor, but can you trust her? No. I think I think maybe you say like, "Hey, I noticed you're like taking some... taking all of my ideas. Do you want to just do just it together? Do you want to do together. it together?" Um, but yeah, but Jelly Boss says like uh, she's not trustworthy, yeah, which no, I can no, kind of no, say. No, no. Also, Ace Trainer Buffy, thanks for the two dollars, and everyone wants to pet his hair. It's very soft. Whose hair? John's. Oh, it's me. Uh, but yeah, I I I, I think I. I think I do. I like the idea of partnering, but yeah. because she's like done that kind of slyly, is she going to be a good partner? Like she should have gone to her and been like, "Hey, hey do you want to do this together?" Yeah, like really I think I can really is. help. And yeah, yeah. Which 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 OP might have been receptive of. Yeah, yeah. But because this is so like behind the back, I or she's know. like, "I want to crush you." Yeah, I want to stomp you into the dirt which, like the weed. I'm honestly, growing. you know, some com competition is is kind of good. It raises you both to a good level, but I, it, it doesn't. Feel, Cassandra Lay says, "Don't do it together." That's a good way to get your monies stolen too. Oof. Yeah, I agree. Luz V Bo says, "Partnering does not sound like a good idea." I I think we agree, mm -hmm. but let's get back into the story. So, my roomie mentioned to me what she saw, and I had to say I agreed with his viewpoint. She was stealing my ideas. Now, I know there's no law that states she couldn't do this, but it was definitely something a true friend would never do. I also had zero proof as all the conversations we had discussing it were in person, and I had not been suspicious enough to record any of the conversations because that would have been weird and toxic. When she came out with identical products to what I had told her I was going to sell, I decided that I didn't want to be friends with her anymore and quietly deleted her from all my social media and thought that it would just wash away in time. So it sounds like she's completely distancing herself. Well, I was wrong. Oh, she decided to message me and ask what happened. When I explained it to her, she had the audacity to tell me we never discuss anything of the sort and that I was just jealous of her and started to put me down and call me names. So I blocked her after saying some not so nice things in return. That's when she got Calvin to call my roommate. Calvin is like the boyfriend. Right. Uh, to which he didn't answer. And I thought that would be the end of it. But my roomie started to get anonymous phone calls at 2.30 in the morning while we were asleep. We'd hear breathing and laughing in the background. So we hung up and they called back immediately. We hung up and they called the police and reported her number because she was stupid enough to not block the number. They said they would talk to her and the phone call stopped. After all that, I decided to leave her business an honest, bad review and shared my story across social media to Ooh. which she responded by messaging me. From her business page to tell me to take it down, and if I didn't, she was going to sue me for defamation of character and harassment. Truth be told, though, the review was on the products and how she had done little to no research and development and was selling things that were not fully thought out. And I made that very clear as well as left a link on my side of the story. So basically, OP is like fully putting this person dragging. on Dragging. Yeah. yeah, dragging. <clears throat> but honestly, she deserves it. maybe worth it. Yeah. I never got a call from the police about the supposed defamation and harassment as I believe I was within my rights to write that review. She tried tirelessly to have my review removed by getting all of her friends and family to leave fake reviews for her products and services. 
I am also disabled and get money from the government for my disability. And she called them making false, bold yeah. accusations to try to get me in trouble and disqualify me for my disability payment by oh. telling oh them lies. God. So not only is she stealing your business, but she's stealing your livelihood. Yeah. Wow. That was the final straw. I decided to be petty and do the exact same thing to her. I called her employer and told them she was using information they had taught her Ooh. to offer on her own website. I told them the website address and her full name and found it out a few months later on LinkedIn that she mysteriously started another job at another cannabis Whoa. company next month. So am I the a-hole for getting my ex-friend fired from her job? Okay, so breaking it down like the... Friends the, stole them, the, yes. the most virtual path, virtuous path is like, I'm just going to yeah let this rock and not engage with this person anymore. Yeah. But, but she did get her fired. And then she tried get to get her, get rid of her uh, disability payments. Yeah. 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 Well, the friend exactly. did. The friend tried yes, to yeah. the friend. Yeah. friend. Yeah. So, so yeah, um, yeah. you know what? Go for it. Like, go for I it. Think, I'm going to yeah. say not the a-hole. Like, okay, but John, so John John too. sometimes says go for it. But then when I ask him this question, he changes the answer. <laughs> Would you do it? The real answer. Would I do it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is this question you're going to ask? No, I would, <laughs> Wait, what I would, I would, I would do not it. do it. What I would just move it. on and live my life. Yeah, yeah. Find a new yeah. idea. If you've got all those great ideas. Yeah. They'll probably find I, I don't think. Well, hmm. do I think it's an a-hole move to. Well, <clears throat> the friend was doing something that was in violation of the company. Yes. It is petty. So I think there's a little bit of there's some pettiness. Yeah, there's yeah. some pettiness. pettiness. I wouldn't maybe definitely. go all the way to a-hole, but it is like uh, there, there's a there's a there's. There's a tinge of pettiness. Yes. Yeah. Um, but and, and I also think by going after this person and their job, like it could blow back where the friend it tries to sabotage her yeah. life. And I think you can get into a sabotage circle. <clears throat> sabotage yeah. circle. Yeah. And so like you don't necessarily want to get in a place where you're you have an arch nemesis. You know? yeah. Unless the arch nemesis, you know, makes you Unless better. Unless it's fun. Unless it's yeah. fun and you like it. But this doesn't sound fun. This doesn't sound fun. This sounds no. not fun. Yeah. Um, and going to the the chat. Oh, no. It's Lizzie Joe says she went after OP. All bets are off. That's right. Miriam says because she was literally about to get her disability mon money taken away. Yeah. And this is story three, Riley. Sorry. Yes, yes. Boom. Let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this comes from throwaway74888774 who says, I think I'm ready to quit my job and go work part time at Starbucks. Am I crazy? Question mark. Uh, Star We're going to start with fun. Sophia worked at Starbucks. It was fun. There oh. you go. Uh, so I'm 31 and I have crossed over a five. I have crossed over the $500,000 mark invested in between my 401k and trading accounts with zero debt. No debt. No. I have 50 grand in my checking account to last me a couple of years without work. All my money is from me working, saving, uh, investment gains. I live in Kansas City and I don't own property, but I live with my elderly parents who are almost 80 years old. We are from Calcutta, so it's not that odd for unmarried adults to live with their parents. Um, they are very they are very independent, both financially and in everyday life. My monthly expenses are barely $1,000 because I don't pay rent. My parents absolutely refuse rent. But on wait, the, wait, wait. They, they live with their parents and they have 500 k And they spend $1,000 a month. Wow. Where do they live? Calcutta. In Kansas City. Oh, oh Kansas City. Yeah. Dang. With their elderly parents. Anyone live in Kansas City? Is hey. Kansas City uh, uh, in yeah. the chat? Yeah. yeah. Throw it, it down. Um, my parents absolutely refuse rent, but on their birthdays and holidays, I give them stacks of cash, Aww. about $1,000 or so, and I have to force it onto them. They don't want my money since they are um, FI, since they are financially independent. Oh. But I just want them to have it. I spend probably 20k a year including those cash gifts. So OP is literally only spending 20,000 a year. I will stay with my parents until they pass. I refuse to ever put them in a home. Double whammy. Really quick. Yes. I have a crazy okay story time that okay. none of you guys know about Whoa. actually. Oh wow. No I have I, I and I can't believe I haven't told you. This happened this morning. It was absolutely crazy. Wow. Has to do with parents in a home. Ooh. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll save it for after. Ooh, spicy story. I don't hate my job, but I hate wasting nine hours of my day uh, 
for my life. <laughs> I am an analyst on my company's finance team and I earn about $85,000 a year gross. I want to get a part-time job where I work three days a week to get health insurance and spending money. I think Starbucks or Costco. Um, I'd like to... I'd like to let my 500K grow to around a million in almost a decade and then completely stop working. Why? Well, because 4% at $1 million will be enough to cover health insurance and all of my spending. Wow. Yes. Dude, OP has gotten the finances yeah. down. That's like, crazy. On yeah. lock. My other idea is to get contract finance jobs where it's only a six month term, make around 25 grand to cover spending and health insurance, and then I have six months off. Um, I think I'm ready. I want to quit. I have my resignation letter typed up. How old is OP again? OP is 31 female. 31 and financially Killing independent, it. basically. Kill, like, yeah. go, going to quit their job. Yes. That's insane. Could find a good 44-year-old to take <laughs> She's not 44. I did the math. It's the equivalent age gap. <laughs> totally right. <laughs> that was quick math. She hasn't responded, by the quick way. Quick maths. Quick maths. she's asleep. Yeah. <laughs> also, Sabrina what Vargas, thanks for the two bucks. Oh, my God. Thanks, guys. I actually have been seeing a girl that I actually really like. So yeah, I don't, that's I, why I'm confused. Yeah, well, well I, you know, we're, we're not official Sophia has to date four other women, yeah. so he knows We've only gone on, like, that. two dates. I don't dates get that. Or I'm, three not, dates. I'm not about that lifestyle. <laughs> I'm not, I know, I but focus. we've only been on I three focus. dates. I don't want to, I don't want to, like. I personally like, think it's hard, it's hard to focus on, like, to hard to I agree. establish I'm something not, if you're not focused. I'm not. Sh okay. Yeah, I agree. I agree. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> let's keep going. Back to the story. Um, I think I'm ready. I want to quit. I have my resignation letter typed up, but I'm so scared. My plan is to quit, decompress for uh, a couple months, then go visit India for a month. I haven't been there since we left when I was three years old. That's a great idea. You should definitely do that. Um, then maybe start looking for some part-time work. Like I said, I have 50K liquid set aside to last me for a couple of years. I'm going to think more about it on, uh, than quit on Monday. So is OP maybe gonna quit? Is OP gonna quit? Yeah. Yes or no? I should OP so. quit too? Like should OP should quit? Yes OP so. stack the, ch the making eighty five grand a year. Yeah, which is good. Yeah. After which is taxes, good. I believe. Yeah. After gross. No, 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 uh, I'm it's sorry. I think it sounds before, before taxes, taxes. Sorry. but still yeah, like yeah, really like, good. Yeah, yeah, making a it is a great amount of money and it would be a definite like loss of in like large amount of income, but also. You know, money isn't everything, and if you find that you're gonna be, yeah. you know, and enjoy you're happy, it more, yeah, working at something, Not enjoying that's, life, you know, just do yeah. it. I would have been honestly, if I could have lived off of Starbucks, I would have been fine with that. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah, almost as fun as okay, okay. working at okay. <laughs> yeah, sorry, so. sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah, the heck? So great. Like, like, honestly, where I'm at now sucks. Moonshine Grace, thanks for the five bucks. I work late and my computer froze, so now I have to stay up later. So please don't go. We won't. Maybe. We Maybe. You might have to. Yeah, we, we might. might yeah, we, we might. We actually, might. We right, might that's actually. not a promise we can make. Yes. But we love yeah. you all. We got, we got, so we were going to finish this story. We have one minute left for the two hours. But one we are going to finish this story. I'll, I'll, I'll do my okay story time, but then we might wrap and up. I personally. Unless something up. crazy happens. Yeah. We keep keep reading. Keep reading. Next. All right. I got this paragraph. So this edit, we'll, we'll read this and finish off. I have been reading all the replies. Thank you for all of you for taking the time out of your day to comment. After reading all of the input, I am convinced that I should not quit on Monday. Oh, shit. Plot twist. I will take advice uh, here to try extra hard to find part-time work. I guess many of you are right. 20 hours at Starbucks will probably feel just as crappy as 20 hours in a finance job. Expect, except I get paid four times more at the finance job. I don't know. I realize I I realize I should think much much more before quitting this thing. So it seems yeah. like I mean it's a good gig. It's a good gig. Yeah, it's like I should have a like quit with a plan. Yeah, or like a well, would you quit something. or would you not? I would love to know in the comments. Put your to answers quit in the not comments. To quit. Yeah. That is the question. So this is a response. Isn't it possible to get a part-time job in the field that you specialize in? I don't think working at Starbucks will be relaxing at all. Uh, a financially independent guy I knew got a job at a florist shop last June, not really to earn money, but to meet people instead. 
Uh, a few clients insulted him without any real reason. In my opinion, in all these jobs that anyone uh, can do, some people will treat you as junk because they will judge you from your position that your social status is low. That's how people are constructed, unfortunately. To which OP responds, yes, I actually worked there from ages 18 to 20. And thinking back, I enjoyed it so much more than my current desk job. The time always seemed to fly by because we were always doing something. In contrast, it's Friday here at work and I've been staring at the clock waiting for 5 p.m. with not much to do. I could do anything, but I'm here in a cubicle pretending to look busy for the next five and a half hours. Wow. So I think I think OP's like, I did this kind of work before. I know I enjoy it. And like, that's why I would want, I want to do it to again, do it, yeah. which yeah, makes yeah. sense. It's fun. Yeah. I had a friend that their favorite job, like, like they worked a bunch of different jobs, like in, including like pretty cool, uh, more like office jobs. Their favorite job ever working in an ice cream shop. It, well, you just interact with a lot of people. Yeah. And yeah. that's it's really fun. One of my favorite other than obviously this job uh, was being <laughs> a uh, day camp counselor mm. for a month. Uh, I liked being for, a, camp for a counselor. summer. That was yeah. Fun. yeah. Yeah. But one of my favorite job is I worked at a special ed center um and i uh judo throwed kids with down syndrome for like like hell yeah like two months and it was my favorite thing ever interesting <laughs> 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 saying this like uh, you would uh, you knew i knew this yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're like wow you're just freezing it interesting decline <laughs> thanks for the five bucks <laughs> Woo! thank you very much thank you very much we're still going ladies and gentlemen more stories um so op comments back um I was uh, looking for comments like, you're insane and done to do, dumb to do this because of X, Y, and Z. No job will ever make me happy. I like painting, but don't want to paint uh, commissions for people. I just don't want to sit somewhere for hours a day as a job. I'm happy just waking up, going to gym, TV, meeting friends for a drink, Netflix in bed, and going on a trip here or there. That would be my dream life. I feel weird, I feel weird saying this, but I'm happily free of any aspirations, which if I can comment on for a second, I feel like that low key is the truest. I get that. Yeah. Cause like, I like, I think many people are very ambitious and it's, oh, it's, yeah. it's great. And I would, I would probably put myself in that camp, but there is also like on the flip side of the coin, there is this like aspect of life that you're just like, yeah. I have enough. And you have enough. The you have enough. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that, that, that is, the goal yeah. is like is like saying one day I have enough, I feel okay, and yeah. I'm content with life, and then you're happier. No, I personally don't have a desire to be rich. I just want to be like in a nice little house and have you know nature around me. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, Sophia like doesn't have to be rich because I I'll I'll be rich for the both of us. There we <laughs> go, baby. I'll support you, Sophia, until the acting career takes off. Thanks. Aww. <laughs> and then Guys. I'll get a little cottage in Scotland and raise some sheep. There we go. You should do a play with the sheep. Yeah. A play with the sheep? Yeah. Yeah. Like have Got them it. all. Yeah. That would be kind of cool. Actors. Yeah, be actors. And they're also the audience. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, so glad you could make it all make it here today. Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cute. There is an update. Oh, Let's go. Let's get into it. Um, so I made a post about a month ago about wanting to quit my $85,000 a year job with 500K save. My plan was to work part-time at Starbucks to get health insurance. I was wondering if I was insane. And I realized after reading all the comments that I was a little insane slash stupid for wanting to do that. I disagree, but we, I, will, yeah, I disagree. we will continue. That day, I deleted the Word doc file, which contained my resignation letter and decided to update my resume to look for a new job mm. instead. The following Monday, the day I originally planned to quit, I got in touch with a prominent employment agency um, in the area and had a 20-minute talk with a recruiter that afternoon. Within that week, the recruiter got me set up with three interviews for various finance jobs in my city. One part-time and the other two were full-time roles that I found very interesting because they weren't traditional finance roles. They were quasi finance and IT roles. I'm glad. I'm glad that OP finds that interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Out of those three interviews, I got two offers last week: an offer for the part-time job and an offer for one of the full-time positions. I accepted the full-time position. I chose it because it is way uh, because it comes with way better benefits than my current jobs. 
more flexibility in the hours, less overtime, work from home two days a week, and I get a salary bump from $85,000 to $98,000. OP is rocking it in, now dude. You, okay, you do that for like two years and then you go work as well. I am going to give my two weeks notice tomorrow. Good riddance. I can't wait to leave this job. I now feel a renewed yearning to work. I've had it up to here with the traditional office environment in my current job and all the crap that comes with working in an office. I realized that's the real reason why I wanted to abandon working. I think, uh, I think that this job will change and make working more enjoyable and I won't be as miserable. I'll at least have that pink cloud experience that comes with starting a new job. With my current job, it got to the point where I would start working every day with thoughts like, I don't want to be here. This sucks. These cubicles are starting to look like prison cells, et cetera, et cetera. So that's my update. I don't know if I'll be truly happier with the new gig, but I'll give it a year and who knows, maybe I'll be one of those people that love my job. Maybe I'll uh, start, maybe I'll still hate working and I'll consider quitting again a year from now. Who knows? But I'm pretty optimistic, though. I'd really like to grow my stash to around the 1 million mark in order to retire early and comfortably without forcing myself to take lattes part-time for peanuts just to get health coverage. Bonus win for me. I selected a start date further out so I could have enough time to finish out my two weeks, decompress for a week, travel for a few weeks, where I'm not sure yet, then decompress for two more weeks before I start working again. Seems like a good decision. Seems like yeah. A very it feels good like decision. OP is now making a way more yeah. informed decision yeah. uh, rather than just like quitting everything. Yeah, yeah. But life. amazing yeah. that OP is in the position to yeah, do this. Yeah, absolutely. They seem like they really know what they're doing. Here's yeah. the question now. Now that we have hindsight 2020, if you could like go back into OP's shoes before all this reconsideration and stuff, would you still have left the job at the initial time? When mm. OP said they were. Probably the first not. Time it they seems like they, they figured, I don't know. It's just... Would I have left the job where yeah. OP was? I don't think so. I mean, yeah. like, I, I, I like working. But I, we're yeah. also, like, do the most fun thing. Yeah, that I, think I don't know if imagine. I would like so, working like, in a cubicle. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if I would like working in a cubicle. But, like, I, I do love, I love, like, creating and making things. So, yeah. Yeah. I don't think I would want to stop yeah. doing that. Um, like we were watching this, we were watching this video recently, this guy Ludwig, who is like a, a also a streamer, which I guess we are now. Yeah. Um, come at us. And he's like, like, uh, Colin and Samir, we, we like, we love watching Colin and Samir. They asked him, um, Ludwig. So like, you know, uh, are you trying to get to like a financial goal? Like what, what are you going to be doing? Um, they have a podcast called the yard. Like, are you going to be doing it forever? And he's like, no, I want to make bread. And he's like, what do you mean? Like, like you mean we want to make more money? He's like, no, like I want to open up a bakery and make bread for people. Yeah. And like, he was like totally serious. Yeah. yeah. Because like, like he like always wants to be doing something new and exciting and yes. interesting. Yeah. Um, and he wants to make a business out of it too, but it's like, but like it, it, it can It'll, be completely yeah. different. And yeah. I think that's yeah. really cool. That's yeah. so funny. I can't wait to go to that bread shop. Yeah, dude. I want to go to that mm -hmm. bread shop. Mm -hmm. Sounds delicious. But I have an okay story so time. time. Ooh. Let's okay. get into it. And then Sophia, you can leave. I'm going to bed. Yeah. Okay. But you'll like this. So <laughs> um, I woke up this morning yes. at like 6.15. Yep. Right? Sam wakes me up every morning with his bird alarm. And I wake up and I'm like, I, I, I sleep in my underwear. I don't have anything on. <sighs> Hell yeah. And I hear, Help! <laughs> Help! Help! And I'm like, what the fuck is that? And I like, I'm like listening, kind of like half awake, and I hear help. And I'm like, oh shit, someone needs help. And so I put on my pants, and then I run downstairs. I'm like, shit, I, if, if someone actually needs help, I should probably have my phone to call someone. So I run back upstairs, take out my phone, and then run out the door. And again, like, I'm not wearing a shirt. I'm like half naked, and it's I delicious. see this old woman that has fallen on the ground, uh, two to, two doors down from oh us. Oh my god! And as I'm getting there, there's two other neighbors that come up and we all like help her up. And she's like, where's Snookums? And I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, uh, tell me who's Snookums. <laughs> and she's like, my cat. I was looking for my cat. And then I fell down. Um, and I'm like, where's Snookums? I like, hear, well, let's get you inside. And so uh, we go inside this like this this lady's house and like 
she obviously has dementia because she's like asking us like who we are every like couple minutes like hey we're your neighbors we're here to help you fell outside and so we're helping her and then but we were asking like hey like do you have anyone um that like that you know that like can help you and she's like uh lisa and i'm like do you know lisa's number and she didn't know any numbers and so like 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 do you know do you have any like phone number of someone like that that like in, in your in your life that can help and like no number. So we sat her down and then we started just scouring everything. And the whole time she's like, Snookums, Snookums. <laughs> and we're like oh, trying gosh. to find something for her. And then she starts like wandering outside again. And we look on the door and there's a big sign that says, Mom, do not leave the house. Because I imagine this is something that has happened before. Right. And we're like, we kind of like, like, like guide her back <laughs> in and close the door. And we eventually find this like tiny strip of paper that's all I like, cut up with like a bunch of numbers and it's like you can barely read it. But we start going down the list of numbers, calling each person because the, the other couple is there. And th again, this is at like 630 now. Right. Um, and we start going through and like Lisa doesn't answer. And then we go to like Sal and then it was like Lola and then Lola answers. She's like, but I'm like, she, she's like, hey, like what's wrong? And I'm like, hey, this is like Sam. I, uh, from OKOP show. From okay show. <laughs> uh, You're live. <laughs> <laughs> we have 600 people on the yeah, line right yeah. now. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, hey, uh, uh, Diane has fallen and cannot get up, uh, and so she needs Lifeline. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> you have you ever heard of Lifeline? Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 you know Lifeline. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, but I'm like, hey, like, uh, uh, she needs help, and she, she's like, well, it's like I'm an hour and a half away, like. I can't get to her. Yeah, like, okay. um, and then, then uh, one of the neighbors, like, I think I know where Lisa is and so, or, or lives. And so he runs up and starts knocking on their door. They don't answer. I call Lisa. I text her and I'm like, okay, we'll, we'll just, I'm just going to stay with her then, um, until they come. The neighbors leave. And I'm like staying with this person. This I start without a shirt. And without a shirt, Dude. I am naked in this old woman's apartment. Um, <laughs> nice. And, what a hub trying plot to do line. Again. And dude, and she's like, uh, and, and I'm like trying to make conversation. I'm like, you like movies? <laughs> like, 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 and she's like, yeah. And I'm like, what's your favorite one? And she's like, I can't remember. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> God. and I look dude. over and I see a Titanic thing, and I'm like. Do you like Titanic? And, and she's like, yeah. I'm like, Leonardo DiCaprio is a pretty good looking dude, right? And she's like, yeah. <laughs> I, and I don't know. I stumble. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. I'm like trying to make conversation. Yeah, um, and so we talk for a little bit more. I talked to her about how I heard from another neighbor that like this was the neighborhood that won the war. Apparently, like like did some like uh, <laughs> they ha they had planes. They, they had built planes, planes here. I don't know. It's hard to talk to an old person that has dementia. Like trying to make conversation. It's hard. It's hard. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm sitting where she's looking for snookums. I can't find snookums. And then finally, we get a knock on the door. And then it's it's Lisa, her daughter. And Lisa looks like pissed. She's like, I don't I like, like the, the neighbor across the street comes back and he's like giving like this long winded, like story about how we all found her. And Lisa's just like, like, she's like trying to like listen to get through the story, but she just wants us all to leave. So she could like sit, have a sit down with her mom. Yeah. And, uh, Lisa eventually like, uh, uh, says like, thank you, but head out right and uh D diane's like nice to meet you and like kind of like tugs on my shoulder a little bit i don't know maybe oh, she yeah. liked the nips and, and <laughs> we all leave and and it made me sad because i'm like being old sucks and i mm. don't want to die i'm out we'll sophia's out wait you don't have any comments on my story sophia? that was a really good story actually it was right i have some comments i liked it one of the best it, but um, okay i literally can't think time. so i'm going i'm going to bed i have to wake up early i, had, I have some comments. i love you all bye sophia bye. Good night. love you too i'm gonna take sophia's mic okay. okay um i think that it was interesting that one 27 is looking great on sam <laughs> he did this Ooh, he's goodness. recently got a um a new car um two it's funny that he mentions that he was half naked in an older lady's house because it seems like he's trying to do that again. <laughs> mm, mm. So. She still hasn't responded. She still hasn't Who? responded. Because well, she has dementia, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro shut up. <laughs>
She's 39. Oh, we're talking about her, so I can't keep up with you. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Wow. For everyone new to the stream, I met a woman who was 39, and uh, she was super cute, and we're going on her. Uh, we, she asked if I was in the area tomorrow um, to go on a date, but I wasn't, I wasn't around, so I asked her if she wanted to do mushrooms and assemble Legos on Saturday. And we're still waiting. We're still waiting. Back. I don't. I don't it's know if she'll respond. Back. But I also. I, I. I've been. I've been seeing this girl lately. Um, that I kind of like. That's right. Yeah. So, maybe I will settle down. Uh, yeah. Are you ready? Am I ready, dude? I don't even need it. You don't even need it. I'm locked in. Um, I'll let you know if I do. <laughs> Mega Biote says, "Damn, Sam is trying to date someone who's almost John's age." <laughs> You know what? You know what? Respect. Bro. Respect. So fucking good. That's a great joke. That's a great so joke. So fucking good. Half John's age more like, God damn. Oh, That's man. so God funny. God damn. Oh, That's so I see, uh, funny. I see, who's it again? Uh, Mega. I got to shout them out. Mega, Mega, Mega my, my own. own. Yo, Mega My Own stays commenting on all of all of our videos. So shout out to yeah. you. Dude, that guy. I've been seeing all your comments. Stella Davis, the one who left Sam Fire. in awe is a treasure. Yeah, she was super cool, but she never she never texted me back after That's right. the the date. I also just, I think it was more that she was like just like not ready to date. Our conversation seemed like she just wasn't in that space. That's what they all say. So Yeah. But we had a nice date. It was lovely. Would love to see her again, but again, I don't know. There's someone else that I, that I think is cooler. There's someone else. There's someone else entered the yeah. chat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. We have more stories, don't we? We, we have more do. stories. We have been. Am I reading or are you reading? Who's reading? Uh, I think. Did I just finish? Yeah, yeah. I just finished. Okay. The, uh, so I'm reading. Yep. We're in here for One another sec. sec. Um, John, could you read some comments? Yes, sir. Yeah. Let's read some comments. Uh, John is okay, guys. All right, go ahead. Guess my age. Guess my age. Um, so we got Brian. We got Bryn, Brian Parkins saying John is 56. Ha ha, you're hilarious. Uh, we got Dylan Pariah Subda saying I can't burn too hard, John. I'm 30 LMAO. Yeah, come on now. Um, oh, no, it's Lizzie Joe, which, by the way, that's a fire handle. Uh, 39 year olds in this chat lurking. Oh, like the person, the person that. Sam's talking about oh 30 the 39 year old okay here we go we're getting guesses in there's oh, no way that she is in here she's asleep all right we sure. have uh Luz 31 Maya 21 no not 21 uh it went uh, sorry it disappeared <laughs> Trisha John is 27 taco um, of love Maya, thanks 26. for the five bucks was the old lady named Rose and was she on the Titanic no but she was on the Titan thick oh my oh. God, Dude, looking yeah. good. Oh, no, 16. No. Got 16. Uh, Sniper Fox is 22. Casey F says 34. Um, Fairy Love says 127. Barbie RT says uh, 28. Tiffany Are you Jim going until someone gets it right? Maybe. Tiffany Jim says 33. Mistook says 31. Um, what else we got? Michael says 30, 32. Lex says 26. No Myra one's gotten it right yet, right? Uh, I think one person has. Oh, okay. Um, Very Jeff Bia says what's 25. Up. Who else we got? Strawberry says 30, 27, 24, 29, 35. Dude, we're just reading numbers on the stream now. <laughs> it's 27. It's 27. 70. Guys. Yeah. Nadia Marnani, OMG, I've been binge watching your show and just saw you are live now. What's up, Nadia? Yes, we are. If you are new to this live and have not liked the live, what are you doing? What are you doing? That's right. Freaking like that shit. We That's want we, we. If you like it, that means more people uh, will come in. That's it's exactly right.